Because, because you, I can't escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. We are playing more Game of the Gods. Game of the Gods. I apologize. Wrong lever, folks. Wrong freaking lever. Welcome back. Is it this lever? So, in our last episode, we unleashed the phoenix bird, and he's waiting there for us. But, we can't get to him quite yet, because look at that crazy gap. And even with our amazing wings, we can't get there. So, where do we go? Well, conveniently, the phoenix bird knocked down uh, the stuff that was on top of this pillar. The big statue. So now, I can fly across to this new room. Why did they put a door there when we couldn't access it in the first place? It's beyond me! Check it out, folks. Interesting room. Very interesting. And, uh... Hold it, hold it. Okay, we're back. And that's what happens when you get interrupted, folks. Yeah. What's this? Oh, yeah. So anyways, what you got to do here is you got to raise the platform. And conveniently, well, you can't lift any of these doors yet, you'll notice. Even though there's a clear symbol here that says R1, which makes no sense whatsoever. And you got pots you can smash. So, smash them. Smash them all. Anyways, conveniently, when I first did this stinking mini puzzle or puzzle, I was baffled. I didn't know what to do. Then I realized you could climb the wall like the idiot I am pretty hard to tell uh, with your fir uh, at first glance but what you gotta do here okay is you gotta smash the chains and the doors will open that's one chain okay Kratos move it faster Kratos faster you must get to the temple of fate hey <coughs> bless me bless me I've been blessed and then you let go of the the roof okay Get yourself some nice little uh, red orbs here. Now, here's where the tricky part of the puzzle comes. First thing is first. You want to grab this statue. Because we're going to need it. And for now, just temporarily, just kick it towards the door there. We'll get back to that in a second. Anyways, bring the door back down. And look at that. They give us enemies. And here's what I do with them. Ugh. 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 Oh, sorry. I got a little, a little out of control there. <laughs> sorry, I can't resist having a, a little fun sometimes. Where do these guys keep coming? I don't know, what is this a joke? Anyways, don't stay near them too long. They do explode. Anyways, okay. So this is the tricky part of this uh, column puzzle. What you want to do, and this took me forever to figure out, is put the column about halfway in between the door, and then pull the lever. And you'll notice that the column gets stuck, like so. Now, it took me forever to figure this out, because what you got to do is, once you pull the column out, the elevator will go up, and now you're stuck. You cannot go back down. However, what made this puzzle so tricky is, look, if you went up without the column, well, you'd be like, well, how the hell do I get through? Simple. Jump on the column, hit the chains, and you're through. That's it. That's all there is to it. Nothing too tricky. Let's look around, make sure there's... So it looks like we're trapped. There's nowhere to go! Ah! No treasure chest to be had, so all we can do is just rotate this platform. Rotate. Rotate. So it's all the way up. All the way up. And it worked! Now where do we go? Hmm. Now I gotta say, I'm actually lost. Cause I don't, oh. Oh! It opened this too. Okay, and then we rotate this. But you gotta be careful because there's actually a nice little 
Seeker can get here. I just don't remember where the hell it is. So I'm just gonna rotate little by little. I don't freaking remember. I don't remember, but there's a orbs here somewhere. How do I get them? Damn it. Oh well. There you go. That's how we get the orbs. So, more juice. Then we can rotate it till we are done. Oh, wait a minute. Duh. Rotate it till it gets over here. Did I rotate it too much? Ah. Uh. Okay, it's over there. It's over there. That's gotta be over here. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Keep on rotating it, keep on rotating it, till I see the gates open. Aha, there you go. Wait a minute. No, that's not it. You son of a... Up here? There you go. I've come too far to fail. So now we get this really cool... Uh, side-scrolling segment, which I find pretty cool. At least I like it, and what you do here is don't even bother blocking that much. Just kick his ass. Yeah. You think it would stand the almighty Kratos? <laughs> wow. Epic as hell. You? My lord? I told you to return to Sparta. Why do you leave Sparta unprotected? Sparta is no more. What? What treachery is this? Zeus. He came under the cloak of darkness into Sparta. Holy shit. The people cried out for you. They begged for their god to save them. But you did not come. I was busy. Oh man, that's one pissed off god. I never really thought as the gods as evil. I'm a little bit surprised to see Zeus destroying a city. Look at this mass destruction. Oh my god. I was left with no choice. I had to seek out the sisters to change the fate of our beloved Sparta. For I am all that is left. <laughs> now you are all that is left. I have faith that our brothers of Sparta will live on through the true god of war. <laughs> Me? Yes. You face me, coward! What the hell is that? I am through doing the bidding of the gods! Come I already know, but holy shit. Now, Zeus. Uh, looks even more epic than I last remember. So, what do you guys
got to do, folks, is you can't really do anything yet. You just got to approach this colossal creature. I grow tired of the lies of the gods! I grow tired of the lies of the gods! There is much at stake here. I cannot defeat the gods. Victory favors you, Kratos. But you must grab hold of your destiny and command it. There is a war on the horizon, and we need you to lead us into battle. To what end? The death of Zeus. If you relent, Zeus will torment you still. He will not rest knowing you live. And when you die, his brother Hades will see that your soul is tortured for all eternity. You will have no rest until you destroy him. I will destroy Take Zeus. You, this fire that burned your beloved Sparta. Let it fuel your rage and hasten your steps towards destiny. The time to act is upon us, Kratos. This battle is just the beginning of a great war that is to come. <laughs> Free me! Rage of the Titans upgrade. Alright folks, so this is the battle. Let the rage of the Titans This is the battle against the almighty Kraken. Point conveniently to the body, and then to the giant, horrible-looking creature. And what we gotta do here is attack his hands, keep attacking it, keep attacking it, until he releases it. Now let's not waste any more of the rage. Now what we want to do here is grab the body, and this could be a, quite a complicated fight if you don't know what you're doing. But what you're supposed to do here is use his body. Jump to the Kraken's face, and then he'll slam his hand down like this. Right, right. With me so far. Okay. And he gets his little paw stuck. Then. Bam! Smashed one of the Kraken's arms open. You're going down, buddy. You are going down. And he gets really, really pissed off, and now he's probably gonna do something horrible, but I'm not gonna give him time to think, because I'm gonna do it again! Shit! Let's do it again. Grab the, grab the body. Shit! Shit! Grab the body, put it on the switch. No. I said put it on the switch. Damn it! If you don't know the strategy to this, folks, this could be quite the complicated fight, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you ain't got nothing! Shit. Do it again. And then, he gets really pissed off and swings his hand, and he gets it stuck again! His other arm. Crack to have a million arms. And then what you gotta do here is a little obscure. You gotta. There you go. Shit. There you go. You gotta do that. And destroy it. And. Bam! Took out two of his arms. Kraken has no chance in hell. And now, oh boy. 
And now he ate the body, so now we're screwed, right? Ah! Now we just got a whale on his ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> whale on him. We got nothing. We got nothing. Pull the lever. And he's doomed. It's over. Oh, that's hard. Yep, yeah, he's dead. Remember the switch? It wraps around. All the spikes come out. Kraken is defeated in uh, less than four minutes. This Kratos is that damn good. And that is the Kraken battle, folks. Um, very easy to do on easy mode. A little harder on normal, obviously. But uh, as you can see, it could be really tricky if you don't know what you're doing. And that's it. That completes the Palace of the Fates. We can now move on. Cannot head back, as you can see. We are done heading back, and we can move on and get the hell out of the palace and utilize the Phoenix Bird to go where we want to next. We are almost, believe it or not, closing in on the end of God of War 2. Obviously, quite a bit left, but uh, I'm confident, so let's ride this baby out of here. First, we must tame him. Temple of the Fates. We have arrived, folks. The Sisters of Fate live here. And what's interesting about this is automatically time is slowed right here. And it's pretty cool. I really like the, the setup to do this for this. But um, what we got to do... Let's see if I can figure out how to get up there. What we got to do is... With Kratos, fly up to this platform... And you'll notice that there's this beam, looks like a time beam on the, the big statue head. Well, time is slow. We can't have this because this is Kratos time, baby. So you got to smash crystal and bam. We have just intruded onto the Sisters of Fate Palace. Hell yeah. Wow. But, that's all the time we have for this episode, folks. Pretty long one, but very exciting. We finished the Palace of Fates. We are now in the Temple of the Fates, where the sisters live. And we are going to kick ass. And hopefully meet up with them soon. See you guys next time for more God of War Trilogy.